The first power on was a failure, but it turned out the cause was a simply an unseated board inside the power supply like this, so that was easily fixed. Once that was sorted out, I was able to power on the machine, and it gave me a, the unsurprising LO unlock error. And this trace with a, a weird low frequency tone there, which could be just a side effect of the of misbehaving LO or PLL chain. Now the architecture and the block diagram of these spectrum analyzers has been explained in other YouTube videos much, much better than I could. I'm only go, going to over uh, go over a few differences because this unit is a bit more recent and um, this is the, the RF deck as viewed from the, the bottom of the unit and it has a few differences. Uh, if we start at this shield here which hides the, the YIG oscillator, it still has this via strip line that leads to this section and this is the main divider of the PLL chain. Just zoom in a bit. These are the two flip-flops for the phase detector and you can see there's a reference and divided LO test points. These are pretty convenient. And a bit lower here, these two LEDs are uh, the ones when the, the, the PLL hits either, either limit and um, with a bad divider, these will either blink continuously or one of them will stay on continuously. And once removed, this is still the, the RF deck. And let's follow that YIG signal all the way here into this divider chain. So this, I think, is an amplifier. This is uh, the infamous. This is almost as infamous as the one in most uh, YouTube videos, it's 1GC1-4210 and this takes the 3 to roughly 8 gigahertz signal, divides, divides it by 8 or 16 and feeds it to this ECL buffer and this is some more divider logic. This is a standard part, this is not, so I was really hoping for this to be still good but it's, it's hard to test without any documentation. I'm uh, just going back to this this view of uh, this is what you see when you open the, the, the unit first without removing the RF deck. So this blob is right underneath that uh, that divider chip, that, uh, that custom part on the other side. I think this PS underscore LO, that's the, the pre-scaled LO, probably after that divide by 8. And on this, oh yeah, here it is, H mod 16. Uh, this one controls whether the, the ratio is 8 or 16. And I actually traced some of the schematics of this area. Uh, so this is the, the high frequency input. Everything is a differential for the moment. These are the two control signals, an analog switch, and this is the mod 16 signal. I drew up a, a truth table here to figure out that, yeah, only the 8 and 16 ratios are used. The output goes into this filter, ECL, and then onto the next parts. So this is an older service manual and it does not perfectly reflect what a, the revision that I have. The difference is right in this area. So the YTO signal uh, is coupled here, goes to an amplifier. So this divide by four, uh, modulus control two or four, uh, it really looks like these two were combined with uh, modulus control. That would be the H mod 16 test point, and it can divide by eight or four. And this divide by 64, I, I never found this. I have no idea what happens there. And the rest is probably very, very similar. Okay, so in this box here, that's the phase detector with two nice test points for the divide, uh, the, the internal reference and the divided LO. Uh, I checked the reference, it's nice and clean. And the the divided LO is interesting. Now, I don't have all the RF gear that one would want to do this, but I'm gonna make do with what I have. So this, first of all, this is the reference, and that's rock solid. And now, so I, I got the, 
the, the analyzer is set to a zero span and three gig center frequency. Let me just okay and yeah, this is what I get. It's all over the place. And if I reduce, if I go to mid mid range, one point five gig, it's a bit better. Still unstable and still unlocked. But I think I can be optimistic in that the the YIG oscillator is probably good and most of the stuff driving it is probably still good. I just want to add here that it's not entirely true of course the uh, the, the whole divider here these could be perfectly good but if there's something wrong with the, the pre-tune or these uh, these amplifiers uh, or the, the, the YIG itself the divider could be doing its job properly, but I'm probing way, way, way over here, I believe, on this block, and it's it's all in the loop, so it's, it's hard to say at this point exactly where the problem is, but these dividers have definitely shown to be the problem more often than not, so I just decided to to look at that. Unfortunately, it's it's hard to probe at this or this node because the frequencies are too high. You can't do that with most oscilloscopes and I don't have another spectrum analyzer to, to look at these. However, uh, maybe the smarter thing to do would have been to disconnect somewhere around here and inject a, I don't know, a couple hundred megahertz signal into here uh, to ensure that this signal here it can still be probed. And that way I would still be within the operating range of the divider and I'd be bypassing most of the chain. So that would have been smart, but I didn't do that. Okay, I'm almost done with the schematics, I promise. This is um, the, old, the schematics of the, the older Revision RF deck with an amplifier. Then this is their, the first high frequency divider and they're lucky this is an 8-pin IC with a an off-the-shelf replacement. But unfortunately... Uh, the newer ones are a bit trickier. For one thing, there's nothing off the shelf, and uh, the fact that it's a selectable 8 or 16 divider uh, means that it's really tricky to find a combination that'll work. Uh, luckily, it's it, it's a solved problem because the ESG signal generators of the same period have the same problem with the same divider. So it's already, it's a done deal. You can get them from some eBay sellers uh, Leo Bodnar also has some in his online shop. Sometimes I decided to make my own uh, because I wanted to make a few. And it's a very, very small PCB. Uh, I believe 6.3 by 9 point something millimeter uh, with uh, DRC violating uh, <laughs> hole spacing and trace. And these are two HMC862 dividers. They're very expensive. You need two. It's tricky to install because of that ground plane that you saw earlier. Uh, luckily, there's there's quite enough uh, room to work here. So the PCB could be a bit bigger, but you kind of want to keep it small for the high frequency signals. This is what it looks like once it's installed. And uh, with the replacement installed, the LO unlock error was gone. Everything was back to normal. And that uh, spurious tone is also gone. If you need to make one of these boards, I have a bit of extra information that I link to in the description. Thanks for watching.